Find S. Find S. Finding a maximally specific hypothesis. Consider an example who enjoys the water sports and these are the instances that is being given 1, 2, 3, 4 instances with the attributes and its values and he enjoys the sports yes, yes, no, yes. So these are the final uh, target concept that we need to, we have already seen. Now these are the four instances that we have taken as a examples, training example. Now, what does the find S algorithm explains? Initialize H to the most specific hypothesis H. For each, for each training instance X, for each training instance X, that means if it is positive, then if the constraint A of I is satisfied by X, if the constraint is satisfied by X, then do nothing. Else, replace A of I with more generic value. If there is more constraint, then do nothing. And if it is, then if it, uh, the else replace E of I with the next more generic uh, constraint. So then uh, we uh, output the hypothesis. Let's look at look at how 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 this algorithm work. First step is to find S is to initialize H to the most specific hypothesis H. And now initially it is null value. So all are given null value. So uh, H is null. From the example, first instance is positive. Uh, from the given example, the first instance is possible. None of them is null. All, all of them has a first instance. Now, find S. So this is, this is the first instance and the S is given given and all attributes has the values all attributes has the values and they have it is taken as a first instance so this null is replaced by the sunny warm normal strong warm and same because this is h and the next one next instance is taken and the resultant is positive and it is yes so if it is yes and if there is if it is same do nothing and if the constant is changed then replace it with a more generic value so this is this is replaced normal and high is replaced with question mark and this is specific and this is more general but this is more general which satisfies both this condition And the next, the third one is no. And we are not considering the negative value. So the H is uh, H value is more generic and uh, if it is, we keep the same value. And the reason why we are not considering the negative which is no is reason is the negative example no has changed. Uh, uh, no change is made. So as reason is, as long we assume that the hypothesis space contains a hypothesis that describes the true target concept C and the training data contains no errors. Then the current hypothesis H can never require a revision in the response to the negative example because the target concept is also, also assumed to be H with positive training example more general than or equal. That means whenever it reaching the generic form we are expecting no errors. We expect it is to be a true concept, true target concept. So since this reason, we are not considering the negative example. And the last one is the, this is positive, but the constant change is all these are warm and this is cool. All this is same and this is change. So this is the constant is change. So we'll make these two as more generic. So this is, this is, this is what we get. The warm is warm is to cool, same to change. So these two are changed. So we make these two generic. So this is sunny, warm, any value, strong, any value, any value. So this is more generic. This is specific. This first value is specific and this is little bit more generic. This is more generic and this is the last value is completely generic. 
So this is what is we started with H dot, then we went to H1, H2, H3, and H4. H1 is specific, H dot is specific, H1 is less generic, H2, H3 is more generic, and H4 is completely more generic. So when it becomes when it reaches H4, it is it satisfies all the all the instances. Two, three satisfies little bit instances. And this is more specific and this is more generic. This is what the hypothesis we have just found. And this is the value started with null h1 with the specific value. And these are the training examples. It positive represents the value it is positive and negative is no value negative. And it started with h0 to more generic that is h4. h1, h0 to h1, h2, h3 and h4. So this is the find as algorithm. So initialize h to the more specific hypothesis h. That is what the first instance we just took in our training example. And we started with the positive training instance. If it is positive, then each, uh, if it is positive, then if the constant is satisfied by x, then do nothing. Else replace a of i with the next more generic value. So this is the final hypothesis. Thank you.